At the heart of human dignity is an unchained conscience. The right to believe or not to believe. The right to worship or not to worship. Without fear, without punishment. But for an increasing number of men and women around the world today, religious freedom is a distant dream. They're threatened, denied education, denied employment, driven from their homes, imprisoned, tortured, even killed. They live in fear because they refuse to chain their conscience. Our mission is to defend, protect and promote religious liberty for all people, everywhere. 25 years ago, this mission drove a group of religious freedom advocates to gather in Amsterdam for what became the first World Congress for Religious Freedom. Amsterdam in 1977, Rome 1984, London 1989, Rio de Janeiro 1997, Manila 2002, Cape Town 2007, and Punta Cana in 2012. Today, our mission remains unchanged to promote and defend religious freedom as a fundamental, universal human right. But the challenges grow, the threats multiply. Men and women continue to suffer unimaginable hardships, even death, because they refuse to chain their conscience. Today, we remember them. Christians in Nigeria killed in a series of horrific church bombings. Ahmadiyya Muslims in Indonesia and other countries in Southeast Asia attacked and denied places of worship. Coptic Christians in Egypt facing increased discrimination and violence. Baha'is, Christians and other minorities in Iran. African traditional believers in Sudan. Buddhists in Tibet. Christians in Orissa, India. Hindus in Malaysia and Pakistan. Shiite and Ismaili Muslims in Saudi Arabia and minority faiths in Eritrea, Uzbekistan, Iraq, China, Turkey, Tajikistan, Vietnam, Kazakhstan, Somalia, Turkmenistan and North Korea. We've come here today to stand for freedom, to proclaim together that every man and woman, no matter where they live, has the right to worship freely. This is our mission. And we've also come together to work for freedom. This is our pledge.